Taking a glance at the average Cooper City High School classroom, Cassie Watson blends in with the rest of the crowd. My day-to-day -day life consists of waking up sometimes and going to school and um, trying to get as much work done as possible so I can have a future. But uniquely, the future she's working towards isn't exactly the same as that of the girl in the next desk over. Yeah, I was mad. I called her an idiot a lot. Um, I told her it wouldn't work. Um, told her it was practically impossible and that everybody in our family would be very disappointed in her if she did that. Cassie's ultimate goal is to make the person she sees in the mirror reflect the way she views herself. I've never really liked to dress like a girl. I mean, she was up all night studying on how to become a boy from a girl, and that was that. And Cassie became CJ. And having prepared herself for the process entailed, Cassie embarked on her journey to embody his true identity, a transgender. I got my first compression suit. Like It presses down your chest, and it makes you appear flatter. And homecoming was coming up. And I asked my friend to the dance, and she was like, the only way I'm going with you is if I'm going with a boy. And I was like, I'm going to cut my hair. But as CJ began to reveal his true nature, he found that some people in his life were disapproving of the path that he had chosen. Mommy! His parents even refused an interview. Can I please get a haircut? When Cassie decided she wanted to be CJ, or whatever she is, I just kind of treated it as if she wasn't my sister anymore, and I wasn't going to be her brother anymore from that point on. She made things very hard. It was really hard to be in my house for a little while. My mom is not the most accepting person, and <laughs> it was definitely harder for her. Um, and I just, I am a family person, <laughs> so losing them would be hard. <laughs> Despite knowing the physical steps required to make the change, there's still an air of uncertainty about what lies beyond the transition. I ate the arm bar, man. <laughs> I would like to be able to see my, my family in 20 years and for them to accept me, but I know that's not a, that might not be a possibility. And it's scary because they've always been there for me my entire life, and they might not be anymore. Although the cloudiness of CJ's future may be intimidating, he clings to the possibility of a silver lining. I'm just going day by day hoping, and uh, hoping is scary for me. For CTV News, I'm Rachel Broccoli.